Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome on this lovely Friday, the eve of President's Day. Good to see you, Brian, Rich. Good to see you, Benito, Andrea, my my, my famous baker from Toronto. How you doing, my paisan? Good to see you, Lawrence, John. Good to see you, and everyone else. Hope I didn't miss anybody. But anyway, uh, guys, I'm really excited about today. You know what? I feel a lot more comfortable today than I felt the last two days. The list is huge this morning. There are so many good stocks that are moving. I could finally say we're probably going to have a good day uh, in the market. Yesterday, you know what? I was just talking every morning before we get started. I always have a meeting with Josh, and we talk about what's going on in the markets and how to, you know, what happened and whatever. And you know what? It's like I was just not like I hate being right. But it was kind of right yesterday. It was kind of a shitty day. And if you look at what I look what I, in the morning meeting, even when I was talking about it, I said, eh, you know what? Not really that much going on out there. I'd be very careful. Nickels and, nickels and dimes day. But let me tell you, there's a shitload of stocks this morning. I'm telling you. I'm a, and I'm shocked because usually today is not really a good day. Um, next week, obviously, the market is closed. President's Day. A lot of kids are off from school. So I'm not expecting to be a volatile day. But... Uh, but you know, maybe today's gonna make up for it. So uh, you know, usually you know, when you have these long weekends, Fridays doesn't really work out. And it starts with the G, uh, the DGLY. I mean, everybody remember this stock, DGLY. This stock was eighty dollars um, back in you know two thousand nine. Some of us remember we traded it back here when it went from a dollar to thirty dollars. We killed this stock back then. Well, guess what? It's it's getting crushed. Uh, anyway, it got the stock got really beat up. Really bad, great short squeeze. We traded not too long ago, and guess what? She's moving up again. I was looking over here on my book viewer, uh, and I'm seeing some really nice orders. 19,000 share order, 26,000 share orders, a lot of really nice iceberg orders uh, on the total view. So we're gonna basically, we you know, knowing where those support and resistance levels is by following the money. But before we go through the watch list, and I just want to cover what happened yesterday. For some of you that were not here, we had the GNPX. That made a um, somewhat of a decent move. Let me move the, change the slide here. Make this so we can see a little bit more. Uh, probably get a little bit further. There you go. Ten minutes work. So this one went from a buck eighty all the way straight up to about two sixty. Pretty decent mover. You know, ran nicely. Um, I, I, that we traded yesterday. Nbev also another stock. Uh, it looks like a lot of the um, pot stocks are making some some moves. But anyway, NBEV, another one, uh, moved pretty nicely, too. Very, very cheap, slow stock, though. $2 to $2.40. She's also moving again, so put her on the watch list. F-E-Y-E, -E, another one. Buyout rumor popped in the afternoon. The stock, you can see how it just made a nice little move right there from $15.50 all the way to $17. And uh, other than that, kind of shitty. <laughs> kind of shitty. So no need to kind of look when you look any further than that. All right, but let's talk about what's moving this morning because let me tell you, there's a bunch of stocks moving this morning, and you could just see it right here on the watch list. 70% winners, 20%, 16%, 11. I mean, look at the volumes, million, million, 2 million, 800,000, tons of them. I want to start off talking with the BTAI. So anyway, a lot of stocks out there. I got about maybe all close to 15 of them. This thing is up 73%. Look at this big push right here. 300,000 shares. A little bit of big spread. You know, stock has been at $6. Stock has not shown any resistance of going any lower anytime soon. Stock has been on a big, big tear. You could see that. Nice, nice winner. Uh, for all, it just doubled from just from yesterday. Stock's been on a, not only been a good day trade, but it's been a phenomenal swing trade. But remember, you got to be a little bit more of an advanced trader to trade that stock. And we all know how because we cover that in phase one. You got to make sure you know the stock is tradable or not and if you're qualified to trade. Remember, there's so many stocks to trade out there. You can't trade them all. Um, oh, you know what? Before I go through the watches, I got to tell you a funny story. I got to tell you a funny story. So, you know, I have three boys, all right? And because uh, that's to do with trading. And, you know, my oldest son's 19. My middle one just turned 16, and my youngest is going to be 11. So my 16-year-old is just starting to learn how to drive. So I took him out to drive a car. By the way, have any of you guys ever ever jumped in a car with someone that just drove for the first time and just trying to teach him how to drive? Has anybody ever did that? Anyone ever done that recently? Bali says no. Yeah, Alita says yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you something. I forgot I have to teach my first son, but my second son... 
holy crap, he scared the shit out of me. You know, foot on the gas, foot on the brake, you know, punching it out, trying to go, you know, he, 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 he literally teared up my, my BMW wheels and everything on it, hitting the curbs and stuff. I'm like, so all I kept on thinking about is teaching new traders. See, we all know how to drive, right? Could you imagine me giving the keys to him and says, okay, here are the keys, go drive the car on your own without sitting in the car with him? So anyway, the reason why I bring that up is that, you know, a lot of you are listening and watching this and saying, you know, what, what's the point? Well, the point is this. So many people like to want to trade and think they could do it on their own and they blow and, and they end up totaling that, you know, and, and totaling losing everything. It's like giving the keys to go drive the car. And I, I keep, and I keep reminding myself like, holy crap, there are people actually out there that would actually drive a car without someone teach him how to do it. Obviously, my son would end up being in, in, in the Atlantic Ocean, you know, right now. But there are people actually doing that trading. So my point to get is this, you better get yourself trained, you know. That's what's great about being here because we're all working together like a team. We're all wanting to see, see each other very successful. And remember, the whole goal of Cyber Training University is if, you, if, you, if we do well, you do well. And if you do well, we're going to do well because it's a team. It's not the Fausto show. So anyway, just want to kind of point that out because it was really, really scary. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. I'm not going to let him drive the Maserati, Ken. Are you kidding me? That would really be uh, – then, then he'll end up in the Pacific Ocean. All right. So let's go through the watch list. Uh, we got the DLJY. We got the IM, IMGN. That stock also is moving up pretty nicely at 15%. 400,000 uh, shares already traded. Nice, nice orders. Um, if you look over there on the level three, we got some good action there. GNPX, another stock that's doing pretty decent here in the pre-market. You know, it had a nice little move around a buck ninety to three twenty. I was watching over here uh, on the orders wise. You could see that there is a major resistance levels. Let me bring it up the the GNPX. You can see there's a big iceberg order right here. Around 230 to 15,000. There's two orders. That means there's probably a guy for 10,000. I have it aggregated. Uh, if I go down here and uncheck this, you probably could see it. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, you, gotta, you have to go down, stretch down. You can see him right here. He's right there, too. So we got him right there. That's moving up. Uh, what else we got? GMPX. EXPE, another one. Another one. Uh, expensive. Stock took a big hit, made made a nice little comeback, uh, coming back to pretty much that lows back in September. That one, but it's expensive, so you got to be a little more advanced trader. Crohn's, like I told you, it seems like all these pot stocks are moving again. So Crohn's is actually moving a little bit. Just put that on your watch list. OGI, another stock that's got a nice little push, inexpensive, great orders everywhere, 190,000 shares, up 9%. Not up a lot. Good, very nice spread. What we're looking for. What else we got? PLSE. I'm telling you, there's so many stocks out there. This thing is getting destroyed. Holy crap. Down 50%. They didn't even trade that many shares, too. To be down that much, only 84,000 shares traded. You know, but you're going to have to go back in history and find some support levels. I didn't really see any big buyers anywhere anytime soon. But I do see some 10,000 share sellers, like right now at 707. So looks like this stock is obviously, I don't know if it's on your short list, but... Doesn't look like it's bouncing anytime soon. What else we got? We got the CARG I found this morning in pre-market, too. Another one getting whacked. Uh, but the good thing about this one, it's testing some major support levels back in October. A uh, little on the expensive side, not really that many iceberg orders also. And then the other one that you guys have been trading all morning so far that a lot of you have done well already is the CGC. So a lot of you basically jumped in around 8 o'clock. At 23, already ran to 24. Hopefully, everybody just took that dollar profit, made a thousand bucks, and then could probably enjoy the, an early weekend. But if you didn't listen, that's okay because we got a lot more to got a lot more trading to go. But uh, remember, the whole goal about being here is to just make the money fast and, and and quit and go enjoy the rest of the day. That's why people love day trading. But uh, this was actually our biggest pre-market winner right now. I know some of you guys did really well on it. Uh, any any questions here? And the other thing, Jason says he passed the test, but still launched on the freeway ramp. My teeth into my head at rest. <laughs> Jason, that what happened to your son? <laughs> I'll tell you, I guess we can have a kick at it just talking about that. Just, just. A, but you know what? I kind of like you know me. I'm a very metaphoric type of trader. When I teach my traders, I always kind of relate every day. You know, things that happen to us uh, to trading, and that's how I guess people why people you, you know, adapt to what 
what we teach here, but you know, it just remind me again, just like getting a car. I'm like, I forgot about that, you know, four years ago when I trained my first son, but then now I'm teaching my my next son how to drive, and it's just brutally scary. And all I kept on thinking about is this is no different than someone actually going out there and trade on their own. You know, and it's wonder why it's such a big failure rate, you know. So anyway, uh Neil made about uh, Neil made some money on that, ten cents on that CGC. Good for you. Congrats. You know, way to go. Looks like it's gonna be coming down though. All right, guys. So market's opening up in less than 15 minutes. Go get, go hit the the restrooms. Go get your coffee. Whatever you gotta get ready. You know, we don't do anything for up until the 15 minutes for the market opens up. Give the mark about five minutes. If you're in your positions right now, you should pretty much know where you stand. And once again, I'll put these in a watch list. And uh, like I said, if there's anything new out there, we'll put it out there. Remember, not all of them gonna move. So listen to the traders that are in here. Listen to the instructors. Listen to us. And if we see something that looks better than the other, we'll post it up there. We'll do audio commentating about another 15 minutes. And like we always say, traders, you see something, you say something, all right? Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.